Hi, I'm Chef Lisa Parks of ChefLisaParks.com and today we're going to make a vanilla bean pastry cream and you can use this pastry cream in a lot of different ways. You can use it in a pie like a coconut cream pie or banana cream pie. You can use it in a puff pastry. You can use it in eclairs with a chocolate covering on them. So it's a very versatile cream that you can use in a lot of different ways. First we're going to start with a vanilla bean. This is a whole vanilla bean and we're going to cut it in half, split it open and we're going to scrape the seeds out. And we're going to add them into the pastry cream later in the dish. So you just be careful, don't slice any fingers off and just kind of slice it down the middle and then you just open the bean up. Once you get the bean open there are all these lovely seeds and with the back of your knife you want to scrape the seeds. Oh that's all the goodness there. And we're just going to put that in a container for now. Okay, okay, I'm totally jerry-rigging this. There we go. That's your vanilla bean. And this you can put in your sugar container and you can vanillify your, salt, your sugar for like hot cocoa or other baking needs. So now we're going to take a mixing bowl and I've separated six eggs. So we're going to take the eggs and the sugar and we're going to cream them with the mixer until fluffy. Okay, and this will be the base for our pastry cream. Okay, and so now we're just going to mix it probably, I don't know, three to four minutes until it gets nice and creamy and fluffy. Move this out of the way. Okay. And then I'm going to add the cornstarch, and this is three tablespoons of cornstarch. All right, so we have our six egg yolks, we have our three tablespoons of cornstarch, and we have our three quarters of a cup of sugar. That's the base for our pastry cream. So now we're gonna heat two cups of milk, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna temper the heated milk with the egg mixture. So we'll heat the milk and then we'll temper it with the egg mixture and tempering means that you bring them to a light temperature so we'll add a little bit of the heated milk to the base and then just bring it up a little bit and then we'll add the base to the saucepan and continue to cook it. Once we take it off the flame then we will add the butter, the vanilla bean and the heavy cream. We'll stir it up and we'll be done. So our milk is now boiling. Okay, we're going to take it off the heat. We're going to add just a little bit to this egg mixture, just a little, because we don't want to cook the egg. Just want to temper it. And I'm left-handed, so I have to do that. All right. Just to warm it up so that the egg doesn't cook. All right, now we're going to add this mixture back to the milk. And then we're going to put it back on the stove and we're going to cook it until it thickens. And all of the sugar dissolves. All right. For about maybe, I don't know, five minutes, you'll know it'll start to thicken. Put it on a medium heat. And we'll just keep, you know, stirring it constantly with a wooden spoon or a whisk. And after it, it brings, comes back to a heat, it will then start to thicken up and get really creamy and lovely. Okay. So five to 10 minutes, depending. You just want to make sure that the cornstarch has cooked out. Okay. And now we have our mixture. And at this point, we're going to add the butter. We're going to add the heavy cream and we're going to add our vanilla bean. Okay. And just whisk that until the butter melts and everything is equal, you know, well incorporated. And if you like, you can put a little bit of cognac, maybe like a teaspoon of cognac or a brandy. And there's your vanilla bean 
pastry cream. And you can use this as a pie filling or for like eclairs or if you're a donut person, you like to make donuts. There you go. You can get this recipe on my website at cheflisaparks.com. Come back and see me again real soon. Bye.